Well, tonight, the debate surrounding those masks continues with many major Ohio cities now requiring them in public. Amy Steigerwald breaking down the mandates, how they can help and what you think about them. Because I think it's an effective way of protecting others around you and protecting yourself. I think it's I think it's common sense. It's just a thing I think that people feel comfortable about. They feel like they're going to be safe from it. But I don't wear masks when I go out. Everybody who's anybody seems to have an opinion about whether or not they need to wear a mask. People who like think it's their right to not wear it, I don't really agree with that. But I think it's a freedom issue. The CDC is still recommending face coverings in public settings. However, it's no secret the recommendations have changed multiple times over the past few months. So in case you need some clarification, here's an example. So let's say I'm going for a walk in the park. I'm clearly not near anybody and I'm outside. In this case, I do not need a mask. But if I'm heading inside a building, then I do need one. Regardless, not everyone is complying with CDC guidelines. So why should you? Well, doctors who are experts in infection control say it's the best way to contain any droplets of the virus. So it's spread by droplets that can uh, exist on surfaces and then remain in the air. And if we can contain those droplets, then we'll be protecting people around us. Dayton and Columbus have both mandated masks for residents when going out in public. Those who do not comply can be fined. A spokesperson with the city of Toledo says they are looking into a potential mask mandate, but nothing has been implemented just yet. In Toledo, Amy Stagerwald, WTOL 11.